Wait, what? A front page tech episode about Windows? You bet your sweet ass. If you're watching this on the toilet right now, which you probably are, hit subscribe and turn on all notifications to be part of the Toilet Squad. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Four put top, motherfucker! The show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, guys, real quick, before we get into the episode, I just want to say, once again, thank you. Support with the new website, frontpagetech.com, has been crazy. You guys are awesome. Not gonna lie, though, it has been, it has been crazy hard. That's why these episodes, like, I'm doing the website and Front Page Tech Sometimes both on the same day, and it's it, right now I have not found a rhythm, and that is why episodes are going out a little bit later than usual, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll figure it out, and we'll get back to normal, uh, but for now, <laughs> let's talk about some tech news. All right, so, so first up for the day, story numero uno. This one is so good. I cannot stop laughing at this. So it turns out uh, some users are receiving their brand new M1 iMacs, Crooked. Yep, that's right. In a recent video, iPhone Doe reviewed one of the new M1 iMacs, uh, but there was an issue with his. You see, his unit was mounted all crooked. But you know, it's fine. It's whatever, right? That's just one iMac out of how many? I'm sure that's not a big deal, uh, except there's more than one. Like, here's a similar complaint from Apple's community support forms. Oh, and then here's one uh, from Reddit. <laughs> I'm sure now that this is like out and about, now that it's in the news, people reading it, maybe you're watching this show right now, this episode, and you're like, uh, wait a second, and then you, you check, you look at your iMac just to see that it's all f***ed up too. And just look at, look at this screenshot from the video. Oh my god. Dude, I can't. I cannot. Listen, I'm sorry, right? Like, if your iMac genuinely showed up like this, a little messed up, I'm sorry. That sucks. But even better, like, if it did show up like that, instead of being mad, just take this second, take a moment to stand up, step back, like, at least a few feet away from the iMac and uh, just look at it. <laughs> Go ahead, try not to laugh at it. Okay, listen, this is not a crazy huge deal. Manufacturing defects do happen, like, all the time, and I'm sure that Apple will send you out a new unit, no problem if your iMac is crooked, but out of all manufacturing defects to have, this one is just super funny, and I, I wish my iMac looked like this. I would keep it. I'm serious, I wouldn't even return it. I just wanna be able to say that my iMac is special. That's all. Hey, if you're a fan of this show, then you know that I talk about WeVPN a lot. It's because I really, really believe in what they're doing and because they are uh, paying me. That is also a reason, but for real, do you know how many offers I get from VPN companies all over the place and I turned them down because I want to be able to promote only one VPN to you guys and I want it to be the one that I trust. WeVPN is made by veterans in this space, a group of guys that came from those other companies to start their own. A VPN that's fast and reliable, one that protects you and your data without storing any logs, one that keeps you from being tracked or traced, and one that unlocks content from your favorite streaming services. So if you love this show and you watch it every day, go give them a try and let me know what you think. It's just $2.69 a month right now. That's 73% off. And if you use the promo code FPT at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off just for watching this show. Sure, there are other VPNs out there, but only WeVPN is a longtime supporter of this show. So go ahead, click that link down in the description to get started with WeVPN today. Okay. Welcome back. Last up for the day, I want to say that we haven't talked about Windows, Microsoft Windows, on Front Page Tech in like five years. I want to say it's been that long, but I'm going to give it a shot because this Windows story was the number one story, was the top story of the day over on FrontPageTech.com. So let's see how you guys react. Let's try it because today it did in fact happen. Screenshots of Windows 11. <laughs> Leaked. This is another story that makes me laugh. I mean, I know that we've heard about Windows 11 happening like for for a bit now. Like we knew Windows 11 was a real thing that it was gonna happen. But I just you remember back in the day, you know, when Windows 10 came out, Microsoft said that that was going to be the last version of Windows. That was it. Just updates from here on out. Yep. Well, I guess f all that. Today, just about a week before the official launch. Chinese website, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say that, but Beidou, Beidou, but 
Bad ooh. Yep, so, like I said, very sorry about that. Anyway, they leaked multiple screenshots of an actual Windows 11 ISO. And good lord. Okay, let's let's take a second. You and me were a family, right? Let's just take a sec, take a moment to breathe and prepare ourselves to look at the the thing. Okay, you ready? Oh my God, what is that? This is the new start menu, by the way. Yep, they, uh, well, they just centered it. In fact, they made the taskbar look like the dock from Mac OS and then uh, just shot the start menu out of it like an old pop-up. We've got rounded corners, light and dark. Okay, actually that doesn't look so bad. And the return of Windows widgets. Wiggets, everybody, we've got wiggets. I wanna say just like over three months ago, maybe four months ago, I was still on uh, a Windows PC, but it blew up, right? Like they always do. It blew up and in a pinch, I still had to work, right? And the only thing available to me like near me at a store was a Mac. So I bought my first Mac and honestly it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And just in time apparently because this new version of Windows looks like ass. And even though there were people that were upset when we posted this story, like this little fella right here who thought the screenshots were fake, well if it makes you feel any better, Windows themselves tweeted out this. This is just the start. Wow. Really guys? You get it? Because they put start? Okay. Tune in on June 24th at 11 a.m. ET to see what's next. So this tweet pretty much confirms the leak, right? Like certainly this is them acknowledging it. And then there's this guy who's just all sorts of mad. Yeah, because you are sh Each and every day millions of people are gonna use this OS and help run our lives normally. Yeah, and each and every day millions of people are gonna use hot garbage because that's what this is. No, but for real. Okay, let this is the honest part of the show, right? Let's just, let's dial it back for a second. I know I'm just, I'm playing a character, right? We're trying to play it up for the show, but let's be honest like I can't tell if uh if it's actually bad like if it actually does look bad or if you know it's just so much of a change that it's just scaring me because I don't like change because I'm a bobby like maybe that's what's actually happening maybe this isn't as terrible as I initially thought and I just got to get used to it what do you what do you guys think do you like it already or <laughs> Do you need a second to get used to it? Because honestly, that might be all it is. It's just a change and we are not used to it yet and we should all calm down. Uh, and really, we gotta give Microsoft credit for actually like trying to change Windows for the first time in however long. It actually looks different. And the different might not be good, but it is different. And we gotta give them credit for that. And maybe in a month or two, a year, we'll be like, you know what? That was worth it. Good job, Windows. It actually looks great. I'm used to it now. No, it looks like shit. <laughs>